this is Sharon this is my studio and I'm very happy that you joined me here today uh, I think that this is the first time you can hear me speak and that you can actually see me and I'm I don't know if I'm embarrassed but it is quite weird for me and I hope it will change uh, we'll see about it anyway I've been thinking a lot about my channel and the way that I used to do things and I've decided that I need to do some changes I think that seeing someone creating can give you a lot of inspiration and can teach you quite a lot but to hear my thoughts and my explanations and why I'm doing the things that I'm doing and why I have decided to use this product and not the other one and just to hear my artistical choices I think it can bring you a lot of knowledge and help you a bit more so this is what we are doing here today and I hope that you will like it I hope I will like it we'll see about it and I would love to hear your thoughts I would love to hear if you like it if you find it helpful and useful and if you will let me know about it it would be great so let's get started <laughs> Bye! to just jump in and start with a new project which I don't really even know what it's going to be um, but what I'm showing you here it's my table just before I'm starting because I think that this is a very important process when you decide what you want to do before you even know what it's going to be I think that the first thing you need to do is just take all the things that m that make you feel inspired and just take them out and let them lead you to your next project so I'm gonna clean all of my mess here and I'm gonna show you the products that I chose am I going to use all of them absolutely not I'm I don't even know what I'm gonna do yet but this is the things that inspired me in my next autumn project so stay tuned and we will start to explore them together and we will find out what this next project is going to be starting a new project and if you want to not do the same by all means but I really recommend you to just unlock the flowers from their packages from the cage because when you are creating and you want to check something and you want to know whether this flower goes in 
in, in this size or in that size or this color or this shape so oh look at that so it is very it, it's crucial to have all the things that you need just right beside you and not just start opening the packages and and you know what I don't know I I feel like opening the package during when you are walking you're gonna think to yourself am I really need this should I really open this package or maybe I will save it for later and things like that which are absurd because these flowers are here to uh, to walk with so if you spent the money on them which you did wisely because they are gorgeous then you might as well use them right so uh, as I told you the first thing I'm, I'm looking at even if I'm not gonna use it these colors are autumn colors and I want to do an autumn project so when I'm looking on this paper it gives me or, or these flowers it gives me the clue what are the um, products I'm gonna pull into my project so it can be the colors it can be the texture having gold in here so all these little um, decisions I'm gonna make are usually based on this well it's not true it's not usually but in this case well where I have the autumn collection right in front of me this is a good way it's a good place to start especially if you are a beginner if you are just beginning your way uh, and you don't really know if this color go with this color and will they complement each other so I can give you this tip just to take a already existing collection and in a certain level copy it copy the colors copy the tunes I think that we have not discussed the project we're gonna do um, it's funny because I'm blabbing here about all this product and still we don't know what what we are doing so I have two options that I think of one is to do a canvas layout which you did me which you saw me do many times because I have this beautiful picture and again the colors are really just the same as in the collection and I feel it's gonna be a safe beautiful choice or we're we gonna take the chance and do an altar project to alter this pumpkin it's not a real one as you can see I bought it in a local store but it might be fun I wish I could know what you are thinking now uh, so I think we're gonna do this because it's sat here in my studio for such a long time and yeah why not let's do that let's do this In order to prepare my surface, I'm using the Prima Finaber Heavy Gesso. This gesso, I like, I like it specifically because you can choose. You can choose whether to apply just one or two coats and then still enjoy the shades and the colors uh, of your surface, like in this example, the orange pumpkin. Or if you really want to seal it and to not see anything from the surface, you can apply just a few more coats and then it will be completely sealed, completely white. When we are walking on a piece which is not flat and has this round shape and, and 
you know we cannot really experiment if I will put this flower in the place that I want it to be it will fall down immediately so what we need to be is just to be a bit bolder and trust ourselves and when we have um, the feeling that we are in the we are getting to the place we want to go just stick it with the glue don't be afraid uh, first of all because this is art <laughs> and there's nothing to be afraid of and besides that we are using glue that it's not if you're not using a hot gun which I don't really recommend for this kind of project uh, so if you will stick it with a, with the adhesive like a gel medium gel or tacky or something of the sort it takes time to to dry so you have the flexibility you have the time to change your mind so don't be afraid and just well, follow my lead I guess <laughs> I've decided to add some texture to my project in the form of lace. The reason I wanted to do it is that I didn't want to have just a bulk of flowers in one place of the pumpkin and then nothing on the rest. So I felt like I needed to enlarge my composition, but I did not want to add more flowers. I wanted to have something that will be more gentle. And also, as I told you before, you can see now that I'm just taking one of the flowers down, putting the lace and then adhering it again. This is what I told you about the medium gel not being dry so fast and it is it, and it gives you the the chance to change your mind and uh, and reposition things. These molds are Prima, Primas, and the reason I'm using them is because <laughs> I had a seminar I was teaching in Israel, and I did many of them. <laughs> so this is why I chose. Them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I like the length, the length of them. It gives my composition a place to grow.
texture paste white crackle by Finabel Prima Finabel uh, I really love this product um, the only thing that you need to have with this product is a page pa it's patient because you cannot um, you cannot dry it with a heating gun you have to wait until it will dry naturally but then the effect is absolutely amazing and beautiful so if you have the time and you have the patience then this is the product for you So we are going to continue with our altered pumpkin uh, an autumn project and to say the truth mm, it's not completely dried yet <laughs> did I mention that we need patience uh, I'm tempted to continue but we'll see anyway I wanted to show you something in the meantime this pumpkin was bought in a local store it's a plastic one a cheap one and I saw that after I put the products some of the color was was is a uh, leaked into the into the crackle paste and you can see here that I don't know if you can see but it became a bit greenish and anyway what I wanted to say it's not that important what I wanted to say is that sometimes good things come out of just the coincidence the mistake and you did not anticipate it because I loved this green and although I did not tend to um, to put green in this project I want to add green a deep green into it because I think it is lovely and the idea came to me when I saw this let's say mistake so when you see things that you did not anticipate in your project don't um, don't be too upset just think how to take them to your own advantage and and just enjoy in a different way in a surprising way i'm going to try these two new babies that i haven't tried them yet so let's begin some artists and i really really want to be consider as one of them but I just never find the time to do it they play with their, pro with their products uh, before they use them in a project which is super smart because well you know you might be surprised when you try something on your project you might not like it Anyway, what I was trying to say is that I'm not that kind of person. I never find the time to just play with my products and sometimes I do find myself just use them without even know <laughs> how they will be look like. Uh, but I can, uh, you can be rest ensure that even if we have an outcome that we do not like and we do not expect we have so many ways to change it you know, we can tune it down with a gesso we can wipe it we can well we can do all sorts of things so we are going to experiment together this is the art philosophy concentrated watercolor by prima i have here two colors it's one called squash and one called honey and we will start with the lighter one and we will 
give it a bit of a shake and let's see what's how does it look we need water to run the color down and we need some baby wipes let's do it so okay wow this is so beautiful Ooh. I will just put a drop here two drops actually and some water oh my goodness this is beautiful it's beautiful ah, I love it oh god it's beautiful yeah I'm gonna continue here as well running down with my wow I love it so much it's gorgeous before I will turn it over and do some parts of this I will give it a bit of a drying session here so it will not leak and I will still have uh, enough color stays on the pumpkin as I wanted. My goodness, it's beautiful. I, I, I feel like I fell in love. Like love at first sight. Yes, it's a good thing to experiment before and I really think I will do it maybe even sooner than later but the moment you are trying something and wait to see the results oh it's just i don't know the risks of the mixed media start right here are you ready If you can see I have here like a yellow drip that is already um, that has already dried and I put water on top of it and I'm trying to move it and I see that it's it's not it's it stays there so this is a perfect I mean okay if you want them to move this is something that a watercolor artist might want it's it's one thing but for me as a mixed media artist which I love to layer the colors it's beautiful because now I know that I have a lay it's kind of a layerable watercolor and I love it so thank you Prima for this it's gorgeous I almost done with my project it's really now the final touches and um, I love to add a bit of gesso to my project to my finished project I just give it a nice light touch of a brush and tune down if I want 
the colors of the projects just to unify them and to give it a more of a harmonious look. Flat one is a better choice for this because it will cover more of the surface and I'm just dabbing some of my gesso and with a light touch I just cover parts of my projects. Thank you so much for being with me and I would love to know your thoughts. I would love to know if this uh, kind of interaction suits you better, if you find it um, helpful. Uh, and if you don't, if you just like to mute and just watch, that's fine, that's fine too. But I would love to hear your comments, I would love to hear your thoughts and thank you so much for joining me today. That was a very pleasant time for me. Bye bye.